Now, when you look at the first family, Adam and Eve, they never had family prayer. You must have heard of the phrase like a family that prays together stays together. <laughs> Adam and Eve never had family prayer. At least it's not there in the Bible. Maybe they prayed together, but it's not there in the Bible. They never had daily prayer. They never had kneeling down, sitting on a mat, seeking God, nothing like that. They had only one simple discipline. Every day they walked with God and talked with God. Let's read Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife Eve <coughs> hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. Why did they have to hide? Because they sinned. Now, every day the Lord would come in the cool of the day. Could have been in the, uh, in the uh, part of the morning before it becomes hot. It could have been in the evening. It's assumed that it was in the evening. Every day God would come. Probably it is another theophany, another revelation of Christ Jesus in the Old Testament. And walk in the garden and Adam and Eve would walk with God. And that was their family time with God. And that's how their life was. The whole problem happened when walking with God would happen daily. But secretly they had a relationship that was opposite to the relationship with God. And that is where destruction began to come. And the whole concept of enjoying God was reduced to a kneeling on the mat and having to pray in the family is a much more uh, sad version of the great glorious relationship families were expected to have with God Almighty. But okay, now anyway, at least have family prayer because walking with God, especially in Bangalore, roads are very difficult. And God, God also is not walking around like that physically, like in the Garden of Eden. But that's the perspective. God started walking with families. No, when you look at that, the, the, the thing here is this. God never walked alone with Adam. God never walked alone with Eve. God walked with them together when they were together. See, that's the important part. Amen. If you are married, I tell you, brother, sister, we have to learn to live in peace with one another. Don't say amen. It's okay, but uh, just receive that in your life. <laughs> 